Hey, I just want to make a special thank you to um, Alison Brown and the Brown family. Basically, we had a bit of a problem on this road trip, and um, <clears throat> I don't really want to talk about it too much, but uh, I will talk about it a bit, a little bit at the end of the video. Um, but the Alison Brown and the Brown family, who live between Murchison and Springs Junction, they really helped us out. Uh, you know, when we had some trouble on this road trip. So, if you guys are watching, thanks very much. You know, it really means a lot. Um, it probably doesn't seem like it, but it really does. We really uh, sincerely appreciate your help. Thank you. So we just had a bit of a disaster. We've just stopped because the beers. Uh, we've lost two, have we? Uh, one, I guess one. Here it's, oh yeah, just one. One of the beers has disintegrated <laughs> here in the boot. <laughs> the Corona Extra and Qingdao. Yeah, we probably shouldn't have put them in here in the back. <laughs> uh, put them in. Yeah, okay, we'll move the beers into the into the back seat. For some reason this place is shrouded in mist, which is really weird. This part of the road between Springs Junction and Murchison is not usually shrouded in mist like this. It's kind of unusual. I've never driven through here and I've seen it like this. I've also never driven through here and um, had beer explode in the boot of the car before either. here in Maruya Falls. Department of Conservation, danger! Do not go down to the falls. Lives have been lost. The barrier is for your safety. New Zealand government. There it is. We are here at Maruya Falls. This um, was obviously not always here. Uh, in 1929 there was an earthquake known as the Murchison earthquake, which is about 30 kilometers up the road. And what it did was it caused a landslide. Uh, which I presume came from either that way or that way. I wasn't around in 1929. But uh, it caused a landslide and it blocked where the river was originally and so the river had to forge a new path. The river has come along here and um, it sort of made its way down a river bank and you can sort of see um, when, you, when you look at, when you pan the camera around and you look at the sides there that this whole channel has been kind of cut away because originally the falls in 1929 were only one metre high um, then in the sort of minor 70s they are about five metres high now they're about ten metres high um, I don't know how much bigger they'll continue to get originally smaller and they originally were not here and um, now it's not sort of like a local tourist attraction and they've got signs everywhere saying don't go into the water not only is it freezing cold but good ground that really falls possum, crushed possum on the road, 
every kilometer we must have gone past 50 of them maybe a hundred of them I'm not even exaggerating why were there so many because the day the day before on Christmas Eve as we were traveling on Christmas Day on Christmas Eve you had all these people going between Christchurch and Nelson so this road was very very busy so all the possums just got bowled over boom 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 boom, boom, boom. so it was all of this fresh road kill that we got to see two years ago Suck. <laughs> Ah, Murchison. <coughs> Murchison, we have arrived. Murchison only has about a thousand people. It's pretty small. You blink and you miss it. This is my favorite cafe. This one that we're going to check out. We stopped in Murchison a couple of years ago, the last time that we came here. And then we got a flat tire. That wasn't very good. Oh really? Oh, I can't remember. Yeah, no, no, it was down oh, it was the. Here. No, it wasn't. It wasn't here. It was. Oh. It was up the road. Oh, okay. On the way to Nelson. Oh. I think the Murchison Diner has run out of plates. <laughs> Everybody is using paper bags for their food. <laughs> That's the Hope Saddle Lookout. There's the toilet. They've got a nice toilet here now. This is what's known as a Norsky Fiberglass Accessible Toilet. I know the name of the toilet because I used to work for the company that manufactured this panel and assembled these toilets. This is what's called an Alpine Accessible Toilet. Um, made from 50 millimeter thick uh, Bondor panel. Um, this color looks like this green. Hard to tell because I got my thing down and on. And the most important thing, there are no wasps in there. <laughs> Before they installed this toilet, probably six years ago, I came up here one day and there were wasps. And it wasn't this toilet, it was the old fashioned fiberglass toilet. And I went for a crap amongst a family of seven or eight wasps. That was the quickest shit that I ever took. So that was Hope Saddle Lookout. officer that got me down here because up the road here it's the easiest thing in the world to just continue going fast you know you're, you're coming up the hill on one way so you're doing 70 kilometers an hour up the hill one way and then you're coming down here and I got up to 126 so he got me just like that just bingo bango Poof, there's another ticket Another ticket! <laughs> so, yeah, this stretch of road is 
the Spooner's Saddle area. It's between Murchison and Wakefield in the South Island, so be careful. That's where the cop sits. That's where they get you. Anyway, we're nearly in Nelson now. On we go. Poker face. Let's go to Nelson. Okay. So we've arrived in Richmond. We're not we're almost at our destination. The reason we're actually coming here is for my dad's birthday. It's um, his 65th, well it was his 65th birthday yesterday I think, and he's just about to, well he has retired actually, he's been teaching, he's a primary school teacher, has been a primary school teacher for 42 In years, 300 meters. and we're nearly there, <clears throat> and uh, dad's place is like a brand new street, brand new subdivision, brand new section. Well, that's pretty much the end of day one. So if you were paying attention in this video, you will notice that my um, hoodie changed a couple of times. And what I kind of did in this video was I cheated and I did, I combined two days of footage. Because this was a two day road trip. but. We had a bit of a problem, and this time that footage that you're watching is actually taken from my sister's place. Uh, we, we hung out at my sister's place for a wee while. Now, what actually happened at the end of the on the second day is uh, we got into a car accident. Um, I'm not going to go into all the details on it because we're still sort of Coco and I are still kind of recovering from it. There wasn't actually any other car involved. We just crashed, but it basically wrecked the car. And so what you're seeing are some of the photos from that. And I'm going to make like a third video in this road trip series, which is going to be called like the car crash video, like the missing episode type of thing. But it's not going to be on for a while, probably for like six months a year or something, because we, we, we need to kind of emotionally recover from it, because the car crash is actually pretty freaking traumatic. But basically we, we crashed and the car was basically not drivable because the, the radiators all wrecked and the lights were all wrecked and the bumpers wrecked. So we had to get a tow truck to take us back to Christchurch um, and our insurance wouldn't cover us because we're only third party insurance. But yeah, we, we happened to crash outside the Brown residence. Uh, they're, they're a lovely family from you know, between Springs Junction and Murchison and they let us stay in their, um, in their lounge for an hour and a half while we uh, waited for a tow truck. You know, so so they, help, they helped us out a little bit. That made a a, uh, a difficult situation, slightly less difficult. So if you guys, uh, Brown family, if, if you happen to watch this video, um, like I said at the start of the video, thank you very much for your help. You know, it, it really does mean a lot. Thanks.